Hello everyone. Welcome to B10X Learning. Today we are going to see with the help of ChatGPT how we can create column charts. There are two types of column charts. One is ordinary column chart. The other is stacked column chart. So in the column chart, data values are displayed side by side. Whereas in the stacked chart, the data values are displayed one over the other. Now we'll go into the example. Okay. So I am taking this uh, sample superstore, what which we have done earlier as the sample to test this column chart. We have columns like order ID, order date, ship date, customer ID, and there are various columns. Okay. And today for this column chart, we'll be mainly dealing with subcategory under the category. Okay. Because if it is a furniture means there will be chairs, tables. So we are, we are going to see the subcategory with related to sales. Okay. So this chat GPT is going to generate the column charts. We will see it. Okay. So I'll be going to this chat GPT for like you can again open chat.openai.com. Here, as I said earlier, again, once again, I'm repeating default in the default. No, we cannot attach the attachments. Okay. But in, if you want to do visualization, click into advanced data analysis, you will get this plus button. Now I am attaching the files. Okay. So I'll be taking the same sample superstore.xls, which I have downloaded from the Kaggle. You too also can work it. So now I need to create a column chart on the orders uh, and subcategory, right? So I'm keeping the subcategory on the x-axis and the sales on the y-axis. And I will be taking only this order tab, okay? This order tab because there are many other tabs like people, sheet one, sheet two, returns. I will be taking only the orders, okay? So how I should write the prompt? So I will be telling this chat GPT, create column chart. on the orders tab because it should understand which tab, right? On, okay, orders tab with with subcategory subcategory on the x-axis and sales on the size and okay so i'm just generating okay just press enter it will create the column chart all right i will start by loading the data from the order tab in the sample superstore xls after examining the content i will pro cre proceed to create the column chart as you have described okay so it is first doing the initial preparation like pre-processing those type of steps Okay, it has finished the work. So this will be the code. Okay, still it is executing. That's what this prompt, we can see the three dots displaying. And uh, these will be the values. Okay, and the import pandas as PD. You can take this code and you can use it in your Jupyter Notebook, notebook or Google Collab. Okay, the data set has been successfully loaded. Now we'll proceed to aggregate the sales for each category and then create the column chart with the subcategory on the x-axis and the sales on the y-axis, okay? So still it is generating. Okay, so finally we got the visualization column chart. So sales are there on the y-axis and subcategory on the x-axis. It has given the title also. It will be difficult for you to see. So I'm just taking this image and I'm placing it over here. I hope you can see sales by category and off. it is a displayed in the descending order default okay it is means the phone sales is more and followed by chairs storage tables so it is given in the descending order okay so this is the beauty of chat gpt we are not doing any coding it's giving all the code and all the result so this makes the coders life so easy Right, because we may get a chance that we may need to change some or the other values, or we may need to get instead of uh, uh, sales, I want to get into profit. At that time, instead of 
sales, I'll be putting profit. The same thing. Okay. So now let's uh, enter into st stacked chart. Okay. Uh, now we'll do the same thing with stacked chart. Now you have seen the column chart. Now I'm going to execute for the stack chart. I will write create chart the same on the orders tab. On the orders tab uh, with subcategory on the x axis and sales on the y axis the axis and we need to stack it right i am telling stack based on the region okay because why i am telling stack means see this is uh, the region is here like right? west uh, central east as i said earlier we are going to deal with subcategory and sales now for the stacked uh, uh, chart, we are using the region. Based on the region, it will give where the profit is more. Okay. So on the sales, I will write uh, and stack by stack by region descending order. Descending. Let's see. To create a stacked chart with subcategory on the stack by region, I'll follow these steps. So it is asking, it is giving us the suggestion. I am going to follow and it is getting started. Aggregate the sales for each combination. See, guys, how it is helping us and stack the region level to create columns for each region. Plot the resulting data frame. Let's see. How it is generating. These are just I am giving you for the illustration purpose. Okay. Show the work. So see, since I asked for descending, it has given descending. Okay. So group the data by subcategory and region, aggregate the sales for each combination and stack the region, plot the resulting data frame as a stacked bar chart order. And if you want to see the coding, press this part. You will get to the coding. You can use your Google Collab or Visual Studio or Jupyter Notebook to work on it. You can try with the different, okay? Because we have got like a, a, a draft. With this part, we can uh, extend much more for our coding, okay? So I am just copying this for illustration purpose. Let's see how it is coming. Okay. And so the stacked chart has come. See here it is giving West is for yellow color. Okay. So based on the West region, the subcategory and the sales remain the same, but based on the region it is giving. So from the West region, the sales profit were so and so on green. That means on South, the sales were so and so for the fonts. Okay. The pro profit uh, margin, those details we are getting. And the similarly on the central, these are the areas where they got and in for like fast and as a label, the result was not that good. So I hope you liked this uh, session. And uh, really, this is the wonderful tool. Okay, because as a especially as a data analyst or people who are in data field like data scientists, data engineers, these will really help them. Okay, if you find this tutorial helpful, Join our workshop at a minimal price from the link given in the below description. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.